joining us for Real Talk with Arlette. This show is about bringing a diverse group of women together to exchange ideas and share experiences on topics that relate to women. Today's topic is on self-care. So let's have some real talk. Ladies, thank you for joining me today. Now I know for me, uh, I am just now getting to the point where I can actually take care of myself. It took me, gosh, till my, my children were grown and almost out of the house to actually decide to take care of myself. So now I can actually take a bubble bath without feeling guilty. I can have monthly massages without feeling guilty. So am I the only fool that's waited this long to start taking care of myself? I feel like self-care is important. I feel like, like you said, you waited so long to really feel like I can do these things and not feel guilty about them. Yeah. Um, I think it's important that we have these conversations so that we don't wait that long. So mm -hmm. people that are like Lauren and I's age can sit there and have these conversations about what does that look like? Why do we even need to take self-care? Why do we need those moments of pause? Sometimes self-care looks like ordering yourself a box of pizza. It's Absolutely. not always a, a, a pedicure, a manicure, a cinnamon mm -hmm. tub. Sometimes self-care looks like your journal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. self-care right. looks like I need to cry today. Mm -hmm. And that's really taking care of self and allowing right. yourself to feel what you need to feel. Oh, look and at you, you are. young lady, already talking like she's 50 plus years That's old. Right. But you're absolutely right, Tiana. I mean, it's it's about taking just a minute, mm -hmm. even if it's just 20 minutes to journal, like mm -hmm. you say, or to cry, just go in a room mm -hmm. and bawl. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right, and it's good that you know that at your age, because when you know when Bridget and I were your age, we didn't have any responsibility, so we were always caring for ourselves. Mm -hmm. But you know, at, once you get older and you start having a family, um, I mean, you're you're caring for your kids. And for women, we're we're already nurturers. We're instinctly nurturers. Well, most women, some of them kind of questionable. Sure. <laughs> but, you know, and then you go into that phase of, so the kids now have become independent. Now we're taking care of parents and Absolutely. we're taking care of grandparents. And I think part of what, um, you know, kind of inspires self-care as well, we start to learn more about the impacts of lack of self-care. There you go. So now we're talking about things that happen to us physically. Um, things that you know that we wish that our, our mothers and grandmothers would have done for themselves that would have yes. prevented things like heart disease and and those types of things so for me it's more of an alert around my body my health mm -hmm. in terms of self-care because now my lens is just different because like I said, we said that you know the children are gone but now you're looking at parents and grandparents and going wow Right. You know, how do I prevent that yeah. Absolutely. from happening mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. right? Is it the, the onset of needing more exercise and, you know, healthier diets being in self-care, like you said, and even, you know, the time to take and, and get massages for your body, right. Mm -hmm. right? you know? So that's another just aspect of it where you just start seeing things a little bit differently. That's right. That physical self-care, that yeah. mental and emotional self-care. Spiritual. Self -care, spiritual self-care. Yeah. <laughs> you have to sit there and take time to communicate with your source, whoever that is, mm -hmm. however you get it, and really connect. Because if you right. don't, mm -hmm. it will catch up to you. Right. And how that manifests when you aren't doing that self-care. It just blows up into resentment on yourself or with others or anger. Or you feel like you're in like a little box and mm -hmm. you're just like, I, I could be doing something or I, I feel I, I feel heavy mm -hmm. that's, that's really how you feel you just feel really heavy and you don't even think it's just a journal entry and that heaviness will pass it'll soften mm -hmm. or it's just keeping the kids at home with someone else and going to the grocery shopping myself and not rush not put a time limit on it sure just, relax and grocery think shopping. and free your mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, grocery shopping might be stressful for some people, but just having that alone time driving by yourself, putting on music and, mm -hmm. you know, it's just it's just the little things that you really have to take in consideration that's self-care to you or will free your mind or relax you and makes a difference on your whole day or even your week. You said right. something powerful. You talked about the resentment that we feel mm -hmm. when we don't and yeah. how that just bottles up. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't recognize that word. And it, it looks like lashing out at other people, but the person that you're really angry at, and that's the yeah. worst person to be at. I mean, that's yeah. the worst kind of anger. <laughs> exactly. And you're like, it's 
really just you. No yeah. one's telling you not to do this. No one even knows that this is something that you, you want need. to do or mm -hmm. that you need. Only you need it. So take that hour out and go. Mm -hmm. Just go. Just do it. Do it for yourself. It's okay. Yeah. Only because you're not doing it for, for someone else. It's okay. And like you said, you don't have to feel guilty about it. Right. But somehow you feel guilty. I don't I don't know how or who puts that on us, but you feel guilty about it. Mm -hmm. So you just have to cross that barrier of no one's gonna miss me and if they do miss me, they're going to live mm -hmm. for that for that hour that sure. I'm gone or two hours. <laughs> That's right. The world isn't falling apart. It's gonna be here when I get back. Mm -hmm. And if it's not here, then it wasn't meant for me to do. Mm -hmm. It wasn't meant. Was Bam, move on. Just move on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, again, I'm excited that both of you realized that at an early age, because both of these ladies are single moms. Mm -hmm. um, and they're both working professionals. Um, Tiana just recently graduated from college. Lauren is in college and has a business and a working professional and a single mom. Mm -hmm. So kudos to both of you for realizing that you need a minute every sure. now and then even if it's just twice a week and I know for you Lauren you have a book club mm -hmm. um, you have you, you're taking time for journaling and reading uh, I don't know how either one of you manage all that being a single mom mm -hmm. that's tough day um, by day. it requires a lot of self-reflection <laughs> and introspection I feel like self-care is very personal yeah. yes um, and like you touched on a really good point it requires a lot of accountability no one knows what you need but you. Yeah. And you are the only person responsible for you. So if you don't take care of you, you're gonna be sure. angry at you. Yeah. Yeah. Like you that, say. Falls, hey, that falls into like That's discipline. Exactly right. You're tired when you get home from work. Push through those 30 minutes, open that journal. Like, I, I didn't even try and put sticky notes all over my room. Lauren, this is the things you have to get done after your nine to five. You still have work to do for yourself. Get it done. Do that yoga video on YouTube. Do that journal entry. Read one chapter mm -hmm. in a book. It mm -hmm. might only be four pages. You can give yourself four pages to read today. Sure. Do yeah. it. Push through. Little by little. Sure. Yeah. Little by little, day by day. Self-care requires patience with self. Yeah. You, have <laughs> you have to be patient Absolutely. with yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. There yeah. may be days where you can't get to that yoga and and the book and the journal. Maybe yeah. it's just one. Yeah. It's one. always just one. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> one thing. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what's you interesting is um, I was thinking about you know I was sharing how for me self care looks like this because of aging parents and grandparents and then when I think about uh, young ladies that I know in in your age group. One of the things that I've seen um, is just self-care that declines due to lack of relationships or to, to loss of relationships. Okay. And it's just the physical change that I've seen mm -hmm. um, in some people who have lost love particularly. Mm -hmm. Early early love, you know, that yeah. love that people, you know, yes. they yes. thought yes, were gonna last yes, and thought that they were gonna move into this different phase of marriage. And then, uh, you know, unfortunately, sometimes what I've seen in terms of self-care is that they just let themselves just go. Mm -hmm. You know, physically, I mean, it's, you know it's emo it starts emotionally, but mm -hmm. physically, you look at them and you see things like just, you know, they just come out, you know, looking ungroomed or... But it's the lack of, like, human communication or human interaction with, like, other people. You feel like you don't have a pur purpose kind of like mm. I'm not seeing anyone today I have no one to look good for and then you, mm -hmm. you, it kind of just trickles down from there mm. you're used to going to work going home you're not used to let me go get a new outfit let me pick out a new outfit because I have something to do this weekend I have a reason to do my hair I have a reason to do light makeup you don't have those reasons anymore mm -hmm. and it, it doesn't even have to be like a love thing like all of my friends are in dallas i don't have friends out here in houston mm -hmm. so my weekends are seven days throughout the week i'm at home mm -hmm. so when i look at myself in the mirror i'm like or you could do something with your hair mm -hmm. you need to mm -hmm. arch the eyebrows you need to do something you need to shave your legs but for what i don't do anything mm -hmm. 
-hmm. But you have to learn that do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Right. Absolutely. You can and look good for yourself. Yes. Yeah. It's a process. A, that's a very intimate process, mm -hmm. especially in your early 20s. I love that you brought that up because like Lauren said, we are so separate. And you do have those, um, you create those bonds when you're younger because you, you can't. You're yeah. in a high school mm -hmm. or you're at a college mm -hmm. or on yeah. a campus and you're exposed to other people. You can develop those relationships. Yeah. But then you hit them early 20s. Yeah. And <laughs> hey, you're like, oh, I'm out here. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole okay. big yeah. world. And like yeah. Lauren said, you, you, I'm not coming around anybody. I'm not going out. I'm not socializing. So it's like, oh, well, I can just kind of be relaxed. But then you have to really pay attention to yourself. Am I happy? Look, like, am I really comfortable? Mm -hmm. No, because if somebody rolled up on me right now, I would be yeah. upset. I'm not. Let me shave yeah. my legs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you have to sure. learn that that is actually truly what does feed your soul or that does make you happy or bring you some level of peace and actually execute those things before you. Mm -hmm. And that takes That's time. Right. I feel it like does. as a young person, I feel like a lot of young people or people in our generation don't understand that yeah. because they are so attached to other people and other beings. The only relationship you should be concerned with is yourself mm -hmm. and have some right. self-care because there you go. you'll align with everything else. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I don't want to yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> For sure, I believe in that. Well, piggybacking <laughs> on what you said, you're absolutely right. Because I know when you would always ask me, well, why are you getting dressed? We're not going anywhere. But even with Layla, my granddaughter, if it's a Saturday, she's in a pajama, it's at 12 o'clock, I'm like, Layla, we got to get dressed. Yes. <laughs> Why, Nana? Yes. We're not going anywhere. I said, it doesn't matter. Your day has started. You need to put some clothes on. And calm, tell your mother to calm your hair. Yeah. But, I mean, even with me at work, our dress code is very casual. I mean, heck, you have some women walking around there in pajamas and, and do-rags on their head. <laughs> yeah. But I dress up because I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. I have to get in that professional mindset. Sure. So the trigger for me is putting Coming some right. dress clothes mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. It's all about your mindset. Yeah. So I agree with all of you. I mean, you have to you have to take time for yourself, mm -hmm. whatever it is. But yeah, get dressed, start your day. Mm -hmm. um, don't don't take care of yourself. Look good. Yeah. When you look good, you feel good. You That's feel right. good. And you mm -hmm. attract yeah. different yeah. It, you, the, the level of attraction, whether it's professional, whether it's people, mm -hmm. it's just different when you have that level of confidence mm -hmm. because you have, you know, the self-care. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Now, Lauren, going back to the guilt thing, I know for me, and I know Bridget can relate to this, growing up, um, my mother pretty much did everything. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, my, my dad did a lot too, but as far as taking care of the house and taking care of all the... Um, the logistics that go into running a house. She took care of, of everything because my dad worked all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes two jobs, sometimes three jobs, whatever. You have five kids to feed, you do sure. whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. But you you feel guilty because you're always caring for others. Caring, I mean, can you imagine five children? You just have one, but can you imagine five? I mean, that's a job in and of mm -hmm. itself, but after, I mean, you never had, my mother never really had time to take a bubble bath. I, I, I've never heard her say, I'm going to go run a bubble bath. Mm -hmm. She's right. never done that. She's cooking. She's cleaning. She's doing everything. And then she worked night. So everything had to get done before you go to work at night. So there was no time to take care of yourself. So I'm a product of what I've seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly right. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of choosing. Well, you know, what's interesting mm -hmm. is that as times have changed, there's also some stigma associated with, I'll, I'll give you an example of, you know, having your house cleaned by someone else. Right. Think about the type of margin you can have in your life if you just had someone to come in and yep. do, you know, whatever mm -hmm. that needs to mm -hmm. be done. Right. But there are some stigmas associated with it because yeah. the generations before they clean their own home. Right. And, you know, sometimes you get called out by your own generation. You got somebody coming in cleaning Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I do because I worked hard and I can yeah, and you know. I need to sit down and right. make me money in their pocket. So I'm blessing them. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Right. Well, it's because <laughs> women, like you said, we're the nurturers. That doesn't just fall into being a mom. Mm -hmm. We clean the house, we cook, the men were supposed to go hunt, provide, bring back the food, bring back the money. Right. So, you know, we went into our whole women's movement, women's rights, 
oh, now they want to vote. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, now they want to work. Mm -hmm. Speak, so child. Who's going to clean the house? Yeah. All right, we'll still clean the house after we work. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, sorry, sweetie, it's 2019. We don't want to clean the house anymore. Mm -hmm. We want to work, and right. we want self-care, and we want votes, and we want more rights yeah. even after this for the years to come. Right. So right. you're either going to clean the house, we're going to clean the house together, yeah. or someone else is going to clean in the house, yeah. but I'm going to take this boat back. There's options. Yeah. I'm going to shop. Yeah. Yes. There are I'm options. going to yoga. That's right. Bye. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Well, ladies, that's some real talk. Our time has wrapped up, but I want to thank you guys for joining joining me today. This was awesome. Um, so, thank you all for joining us. If you have any topics that you would like for us to, to talk about here on the show, you can email us at the email address that's on the screen. Uh, or if you live in the Houston, Texas area and would like to be a guest on the show, you can also email us and put guests in the subject line. So ladies, until next time, be faithful, be fearless, but most importantly, be yourself. Mm -hmm.